Hi, I'm Rihanna. I'm a physiotherapist and yoga teacher at Trend Health in Motion. Today I'd like to guide you through a quick 10 minute yoga practice for runners. It can be done either right after a run as part of your cool down or completely separate. Start standing tall at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Close down through the eyes for a moment and feel the four corners of your feet grounding down into your mat. Turn the palms forward, lengthen through the back of your neck and take a deep breath in and out. Next, open your eyes, sweep the arms out to the side and up before diving down into a forward fold. Allow a deep bend in your knees and let your head hang heavy. Straighten your back and lift up halfway before folding forward again. Sweep the arms out and up to return to a standing position and bring the palms together at your chest. Sweep the arms out and up again and then dive into a forward fold, letting the upper body hang heavy. Lift up halfway and then fold forward again, feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Next, step the right foot back into a low lunge, staying on the ball of your back foot and keep your chest and gaze lifted. Ground down through the right palm, then lift the left hand to the sky, moving into a twist and opening through the chest. Take a few deep breaths here. Lower the left hand down, lower the right knee, and then lift the torso vertical tucking the tailbone under and lifting the hands to the sky to stretch through the right hip flexors. Breathe deeply and notice what you feel. Lower both hands to frame the left foot, then step back into downward facing dog. You may want to start by pedaling out the feet before moving into stillness. Reaching the heels to the ground, tailbone to the sky, and letting the head hang heavy between the arms. Step the right foot forward between your hands, moving into a low lunge on the other side. Again, keep the chest lifted and try to keep the left knee straight. Ground down through the left palm now and lift the right hand to the sky, moving into a twist. Your gaze can be up to the right hand or wherever is comfortable for your neck. Remember to breathe. Lower the right hand back down, then lower the left knee and lift the torso upwards, tucking the tailbone and lift your hands to the sky. Notice where you feel this stretch and consciously try to relax into that stretch as you exhale. Lower both hands to frame the front foot, then step forward to the top of your mat and return to standing in Tadasana. Moving into a balancing pose. Ground down through the left foot, then lift the right foot back and grab hold of your foot in the right hand. Allow the right knee to point downward as you gradually pull the right heel toward the right hip. Focus your gaze on a still point to help maintain your balance.
Release your right foot and walk the feet out a bit before moving on to the next side. Anchor the right foot into your mat. Then grab hold of the left foot and slowly pull towards the left hip. Find a focal point to focus on for balance. Release your foot to the ground and slowly move into a seated position in the center of your mat. Straighten the right leg in front of you, bring the left foot to the inside of the right leg, and then start to bend forward from the hips, bringing your chest towards your right thigh. You may wish to grab hold of the right foot or calf, but only move as far into the stretch as feels good for you. Walk yourself back up to sitting tall, and then switch sides to stretch out over the left leg. Notice if you feel a stretch in the back of your left leg, and see if you can relax into the stretch. Lift slowly out of this stretch and start to make your way onto your back. With your knees bent, cross the right ankle over your left knee, then reach through your legs to grab hold either behind the left knee or around the left knee and pull gently towards you to stretch through the right glute. Keep the right leg passive here, easing into the stretch. Release the grip around your left leg, then cross the left ankle over the right knee and grab hold either behind or around the right knee to stretch the left glute. Notice your breath and see if you can release a bit more tension with each exhalation. release both feet back down to the mat. Next, pull the right knee toward your chest with the left hand, then reach below the right leg to grab the left foot with the right hand. Once you have a hold of both legs, start to relax the left thigh toward the ground for a final stretch of your left hip flexors and quadriceps. Visualize the muscles in the front of your left thigh softening, almost melting into the ground. Lower both feet to the mat, then grab hold of your left knee in your right hand and your right foot in your left hand, and try to release any residual tension in the right hip and leg. 
Take a few deep breaths here. Release both feet to the mat and tick-tock the knees a few times each way. Then when you are ready, slowly stretch out your legs and rest your arms at your sides with your palms facing up. Or move into whatever position is most comfortable for you to rest in as you move into your Shavasana or relaxation pose. Here, let go of any effort and allow yourself permission to fully relax and receive the benefits of your practice. Start to scan through your body, releasing any residual tension. Soften the forehead, let the eyes sink deep into their sockets, unclench the jaw. Relax the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and hands. Soften through the abdomen, pelvis, hips, thighs, knees, calves, and feet. Notice your whole body relaxed and breathing. When you are ready, start to wiggle your fingers and toes, waking up the body. Then roll onto one side before pressing yourself up into a comfortable seat. Notice how you feel. Thank you for joining me in this quick yoga practice for runners. Namaste.